Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. This is the February 2019 update for Adobe XD. Like the January update, this month we have three new changes to the program, so let's go ahead and take a look at them. The first new feature we have is the eyedropper shortcut. So we've had the eyedropper already, but now we have a shortcut for that. So I'm gonna select this rectangle on this button. It's blending too much into this background. So instead of coming all the way over here and grabbing the eyedropper tool, and then selecting a color, I can hit I on my keyboard and that gives me the selection. So now I can grab from an element in the pasteboard or I can even grab from an image somewhere. And this is a really nice thing so I don't have to navigate all the way over here every time I wanna change a color. I can just hit I and escape will close that out. The second new feature we have is a really nice one when you're working with clients, it's record interactions with audio. So if I select my home artboard and I go up and select live preview. Here in this live preview, right next to the record time, we have this drop down that will enable my microphone. So now as I record, so if I press the record button, I can go through and tell the client exactly what I'm doing. If you select this arrow, it will navigate through and you can scroll through and take a look at how the website looks with these animations and I can go back with the back arrow. So take a look at that and see if you like it. So after I record that, I can save that and then send it to my client so they have a better understanding of the auto animate that I'm using and how to navigate this environment in the browser when I share them the document. And this last one adds to the multi-language support. So now in addition to English, French, German, Japanese, and Korean, Adobe XD now supports Brazilian, Portuguese, and Spanish. That was a really quick update for this month. I'm sure there's a lot of features in the works by the Adobe team. So I look forward to seeing what they come out with in next month's update, and I'll make sure I keep you guys updated with a new video when that update rolls out next month. So let me know your thoughts on the eyedropper, the recording interactions with audio, and the multi-language supports. Uh, what would you like to see in the future? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more design-related content. I upload three times a week, so make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss a video. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.